My name is Christina Manzano. I am a graduate student in observational astronomy, and I am opposed to the construction of TMT on Mauna Kea. My name is Kevin Ortiz Ceballos. I am an astronomer, and I am opposed to the construction of the 3-meter telescope on Mauna Kea. My name is Dr. Nicole Cabrera Salazar, and I am opposed to the construction of the TMT on Mauna Kea. My name is Dr. Lelimir Irvine. I'm an assistant professor of physics at the University of Hawaii at West Oahu, Kuukia i Mauna, Aole TMT. My name is Dawit Zagaya. I'm an astronomy PhD student at the University of Chicago, and I oppose the construction of TMT on indigenous land. Hearing about the arrest on Mauna Kea of many of the elders and protectors who are on the Mauna completely shocked me. You know, astronomy aims to study for stars, understanding like greater aspects of like ourselves in the universe. However, if astronomy also means arresting people for trying to protect their own land, I wouldn't want to identify as an astronomer. What lengths are people willing to go through in order to satisfy these very capitalistic wants? Because it's not even a need, it's, it's a want. If this is what it's going to come down to, to build this telescope and the violence that's happening, I don't want to be any part of that. As we look for places where we may want to build our telescopes, we always need to be respectful about the right to consent of the people whose land that is. I think it's critical to respect the indigenous people of the land that we work in or that we ask to work in. As a Hawaiian scientist, I believe that there will be an environmental impact of the telescope for the plants, for the water. Its useful life will generate new knowledge, but the impact psychologically, socially, culturally, environmentally outweighs the benefits. It's not the place of someone to decide whether or not the cost is worth it if they're not the one paying the price. This entire issue boils down to consent. We all learn from a very young age that taking something without consent is at the very least stealing. And this is not what consent looks like. If TNT had consent, they would not need to mobilize the largest police force to arrest Kupuna. Women would not be laying down their bodies on the front lines. If TMT were respecting consent, then they would have heard the word no the first time. 